Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices. With this song, the celebrations for the 75th anniversary of the Neuland Colony ends on June 5th, 2022. On February 1, 1947, about 1,000 Mennonites stuck in Berlin received permission to cross the Russian zone and travel to Bremerhaven to board the ship Volendam that would take them to South America, their new home. It was a miracle, finally free. Being free from the clutches of Soviet rule was more than an answer to their prayers. It was a miracle. Peter Dück had said, God will do a miracle now, and it had happened. This miracle ended a period of unspeakable suffering for many people. Paraguay was not the refugees' country of choice. They would have preferred to emigrate to Canada, where thousands of Mennonites had already found a home, and where many also had relatives. However, the most important thing for them was to get as far away as possible from the Soviet influence. Now thank we all our God. The refugees were so grateful to have escaped the Stalinist terror. They were willing to face many hardships in exchange for a life of freedom without fear. They traveled with the ship Folendam to Buenos Aires in Argentina. Then they went up the river in smaller boats to Puerto Casado in the Paraguayan Chaco. At Puerto Casado, they boarded the railroad that brought them to kilometer 145. The settlers from the already existing Menno and Fadenheim colonies welcomed them. They took the settlers to their homes with their horse-drawn carriages. They spent some time there until the villages and individual properties of the new colony were surveyed and drinkable groundwater had been found. A new and challenging time began. Many families had lost their fathers and sons in the war. Other families were separated while fleeing from Russia to Germany. There were a total of 284 single women with children. Even so, most of the settlers were grateful. At last, they did not have to be afraid, although life was extremely difficult. The first years were so hard that many emigrated to Canada and Germany. The remaining settlers worked with great courage, effort, and trust in God to build the Neuland colony. Towards the end of the 1970s, the colony finally stabilized. The construction and pavement of the Transchaco Highway, agriculture machinery, and intensified cattle ranching all brought economic growth to the region. The Neuland Colony is now celebrating its 75th anniversary. The celebrations will take place from June 2nd to June 5th. Honoring the past, committed to the future, is the motto of the anniversary festivities. We want to honor the pioneers and their hard work. We also want to express our gratitude to all the inhabitants of the Neuland Colony, our neighboring colonies, the Paraguayan people, and their government. Overall, we want to express our gratitude to God for all He has done for us. The Exhibitions On June 2nd, the exhibition opened. Various groups have prepared something special to relive the past. Let's take a closer look. One group has organized an arts and crafts exhibition where they can admire Mennonite, Latin Paraguayan, and indigenous handicrafts. The Palo Santo wood figures of the carver from Cayino Klim seem to attract many visitors. Another group shows how the immigrants built wells, loaded logs, and made iron hoops. The next stand shows how mud bricks used to be made. These bricks are used to build a simple house. This house will later be covered with wreaths. 
A little further down, a pig is being slaughtered and processed. This custom was always a highlight for the village, where everyone participated. Visitors can also taste some of the freshly cooked borscht here. The demonstrations on the field are a memorable highlight. At the beginning of the year, various crops were planted, which are now ripe for harvesting. Cotton is picked, peanuts are plowed and threshed. For many visitors, the demonstrations with horses are the most fascinating part. They plow, harrow and loosen the soil with the cultivator. Especially the horse lovers enjoy these presentations. Nearby in a tent, visitors can enjoy some prips, a drink made from roasted sorghum, which replaced the coffee which the settlers could not afford during the difficult settlement years. The typical baked goods like syrup cake, sorghum bread and the prips bring up old memories. But time has not stood still. As the years passed, the settlers were able to buy their first machinery. Here you can see the first tractors, bulldozers and other agriculture machinery. Occasionally the owners start the engines and demonstrate their pieces of machinery. There is so much to see and admire, especially when you hear the engine of an old timer starting. Another group has prepared an exhibition of motorcycles, cars and tractors. There they are! They brought vehicles from the, all the Chaco colonies. There is even an old-timer car club in the Chaco. On Saturday afternoon, the vehicles drive along the main street of Neuhalbstadt. The public shows quite a bit of interest for these old-timers. In Neuhalbstadt, people can visit the new culture department and the expanded and renovated museum area and enjoy some prips and Tweibach, the typical buns. The streets of Neuhalbstadt fill up quickly on Saturday afternoon. There is so much to see and many memories to be exchanged. To show how the refugees settled in Neuland, a team prepared a variety of stands to show how life was in the past. The reenactment of the refugees arriving in the Chaco has also been organized. The anniversary motto, honoring the past, committed to the future, is visible throughout the celebration. With the festivities, we want to remember the challenging settlement years, but also strengthen the awareness that the Neuland colony will face new challenges in the future. Maintaining a peaceful coexistence among different cultures will be of vital importance. Events Neuland wants to celebrate. With these celebrations, we want to express our gratitude for God's guidance. Thursday, June 2nd, a low German Mennonite cultural evening. An intergenerational team has prepared a program with a variety of content. Together we sing, laugh, tell stories and think about our past and future. Pioneers tell about their life as settlers and recount their experiences. There's even a contribution from Germany. Friday, June 3rd. The intercultural folklore evening shows the diversity of cultures that live in Neuland. There are German folk dances and a brass band, Paraguayan folk dances like the famous bottle dance, harp music, and songs from an indigenous group. They even composed a birthday song for Neuland and sang it for us. Saturday morning, June 4th, the main celebration. A lot has been prepared on the rodeo grounds for the festivities. New grandstands were built for spectators and a VIP stand for the pioneers. On this beautiful Saturday morning, many residents of Neuland and numerous guests gather on the rodeo grounds. The state president, his entourage, the MCC representatives from North America arrived for this celebration. The celebration begins with the national anthem, followed by speeches from various authorities, a biblical reflection, and a symbolic tribute to a pioneer woman, as well as a representative of the fourth generation. A highlight of the entire anniversary celebration are the 75 horse-drawn carriages that pass by the spectators. 
Under the motto, The Refugees Are Coming, a fascinating report describes the journey of these refugees from the railroad station Fred Engen, also known as Kilometer 145, into the central Chaco. Passengers on the carriages are pioneers, students, people from neighboring colonies, Latin Paraguayans, and indigenous people. This parade is the result of two years of preparation. About 200 horses were trained and 75 carriages were restored and repaired. A lot of work and dedication come to an impressive culmination at this point. After the main event, the pioneers and guests of honor gather in a tent for a meal where they are congratulated and receive recognition. All the members of the Neuland colony received free meal tickets and could choose a meal from the different stands. Most of them probably enjoyed a tasty asado. Saturday evening, June 4th, Intercultural Service. On Saturday evening, we celebrate an intercultural service. This service brings together the three cultures that live in the Chaco. How do we experience living together? During this celebration, we want to express our gratitude for the 75 years of the Neuland colony. God has been faithful. He has led us through difficult times. It was not always easy. It often was a matter of bare survival. In addition to a thank you speech, there are songs sung, interviews take place, and a declaration of intent is presented which was written and signed by the pastors of the churches in Neuland. In this declaration, they commit to doing everything possible to ensure a respectful and peaceful coexistence. June 5th, the church service, titled The Song on the Way. On Sunday, June 5th, the anniversary festivities conclude with a Thanksgiving service in the Neuland Mennonite Church. A choir and the string ensemble of the Sonata Music Conservatory perform the work, The Song on the Way. The journey of our pioneers is illustrated through 15 well-known songs of faith and readings of their memories. They remember the hard times in Russia, the war and the escape from Germany to Paraguay. These songs gave them strength and courage during the hard times. These songs accompanied the settlers and strengthened their faith. The musical performance written for this anniversary ends with the miracle of Berlin and the motto song for this anniversary, Now Thank We All Our God. Once again, the congregation experiences how songs appeal to emotions and feelings. Hardly an eye remains dry while singing the songs and listening to their stories of the pioneers. Old familiar songs remind the older brothers and sisters of past times and touch the hearts of the younger generation, who can probably only vaguely imagine the terrible things the pioneers experienced. The program ends with a tribute to all our pioneers. They receive a gift and an honor plaque. After all, there are still 100 pioneers in Neuland, people who were present when the colony was founded. To finish off the celebration, the pioneers are served a special lunch in the dining hall of the Neuland Mennonite Church. Honoring the past, this was present in a variety of ways. For the older generation, it opened a window into the past. With shining eyes, they recalled a challenging yet beautiful time. And our children learned this anniversary is also meaningful to them. They are responsible for the second part of the motto, committed to the future. What exactly does that mean? Whoever doesn't know the past can't understand the present and can't create his future. Or said in a positive way, whoever knows the past understands the present better and can purposefully plan for the future. This is everyone's task in Neuland. A new monument was put up in the historical park Chaco Boreal in the center of Neuland. It encouraged us to think and reflect. Three trunks of typical Chaco trees, the Palo Santo, the Quebracho and the Caranda were set up side by side. 
They are the hardest woods in the Chaco and played a significant role during the settlement. They represent the three different cultures that live together in Neuland. The three tree trunks follow along with the motto honoring the past. While the small trees planted around the monument show that we are committed to the future. We have a task. Neuland celebrated. For a long time, we did not know if this celebration could take place because of the pandemic. Now the festivities are over, but the memories and the beautiful moments live on. We are grateful, but also a little proud. The refugees became settlers. The settlers became part of the Neuland colony, despite all the adversities. This film is a dedication to the pioneers who built a new home with courage, perseverance, and trust in God. Let us honor their memory. <laughs>